And so Mindy Barbieri will again be looking to put it on the head of Marushka Waldis or Ella Tonkin, both congregated at the near post in a big pack of players. Here comes the corner kick. Barbieri is putting it on the roof of the nets. And it was a vicious in-swinger, but a little bit too much curve on it. And Georgia Candy won't mind waving that one over the crossbar and out. Lancaster to take. In swing into the near post and headed in. Chloe Knott was able to get ahead on the ball and Adelaide not able to defend it at the near post. Wellington lead and hopes of avoiding the wooden spoon remain alive for now. Frustration for the Adelaide defence. Chloe Knott nodding in her third A-League women's goal, first of the season. Just read the ball best in the air, simple as that. Amelia Murray was there next to her at the post. You see not getting up above Sasaki. Walters not in the equation, and the goalkeeper not in the equation either. Lots of Adelaide players around the ball, but none of them could stop Chloe Knott. I tell you what, Melbourne Victory will be watching this game, and they won't be enjoying it either, because, of course, they have a do-or-die game on Saturday over in Wellington against the Phoenix. And they've got a motivated opponent that they're going to have to play against, especially if the Phoenix have the carrot of avoiding the wooden spoon. Adelaide looking for an instant equaliser, and they get it! Fiona Wirtz, three goals this season, all of them off the head. Wellington were barely in front for 60 seconds. And Fiona Wirtz, goals have been hard to come by this season, but it's three headers. Amelia Murray, the cross from deep, and Wirtz rising above Chico was able to nod it in. Not much Georgia Candy could do once it met the head of Wirtz. Betsy Hassett. Foster has been starting to advance more and more into the attacking half. Driving across, oh, nearly an assist. Perhaps should have been an assist. Ava Pritchard can't believe she took a fresh air swing at the ball. And the Phoenix, well, that's been their best chance to score from open play so far, and it's all thanks to Michaela Foster here. Hassett able to turn. Tonkin held her up briefly. Lancaster making the run, first time cross. It's a cross shot. It's landing on the roof of the net. And that element of surprise, Charlotte Lancaster, you always debate, did the player mean it when those end up dropping in the back of the net? Annalie Grove is set up on the goal line, ready to jump. Foster goes for it, it catches a deflection on the way through. And so the Phoenix stay on the attack. Chico, cross on the turn, Hassett went for the volley, blocked away. Foster's follow-up, oh, it goes just wide. Oh, that looked in off the boot. It's gone just wide of the post. And Adelaide avoid falling behind. Michaela Foster narrowly misses out on her second goal of the season for Ella Tonkin. So 74 minutes for Ella Tonkin on her starting return after a long time out injured. And this pass here, the flag stays down. Millie Clegg is through. And it's a goal for Clegg. Well, Adelaide subbed off Ella Tonkin, and in the very next phase of play, Millie Clegg has scored a goal for Wellington. And what a perfect way to mark her call up to the football ferns. This World Cup bolter is heading for potentially big things on the grandest stage of them all. It was a great pass. Emma Main, the new player, defence splitting there. And Millie Clegg was able to round the keeper and roll it into an empty net for her third goal of the campaign, the 17-year-old. Tell you what, Melbourne Victory would be watching on here, just hoping that Adelaide do get something out of today. They don't want the Phoenix having the carrot dangled of avoiding the wooden spoon. They'll be difficult enough across the ditch this weekend without it. Here's Holmes on the free kick. Hangs it up, the header, and it's off the post. Walters close. And now Wirtz into traffic, it's deflected away. Well, they nearly got the instant equaliser again, Adelaide. Here's Dylan Holmes shooting from distance. Holmes with a tracer bullet, and it's saved by Candy. And Chico whips it off the byline and stops it going behind for a corner. But Georgia Candy comes up with an important save. So we see the ball booted back and forth. McCormick, oh, left it at the feet of Wisniewski. 
And Grace Wisniewski can run. McCormick back, trying to make amends. Still Wisniewski, ball glued to her feet, lays it off. Millie Clegg has won, goes for a second, and she's got it. With the aid of a deflection, the Phoenix are going to win. With the aid of a deflection, Millie Clegg, you'd think it'll be her second. Will a harsh judge take it off her for an own goal? It was unfortunate for Marushka Waldis. The goalkeeper got a touch as well. Grace Wisniewski, a great driving run after stealing the ball. Oh, it's tough. That'll be one for the dubious goals panel for now. We'll say it's Millie Clegg with a double. And that will take us to the end of stoppage and it will take Adelaide United to the end of the season. A disappointing campaign. Not able to back up their first appearance in finals. Adelaide's season is over. It ends in defeat. Full-time, Adelaide United 1, Wellington Phoenix 3.